All right, how's it going? First time out for a few weeks, I think it's about five. Uh, we've had some pretty atrocious weather. That's a good start. Yeah, we've had some really atrocious weather. It's been pretty much non-stop rain and a hell of a lot of wind, which, which is nothing unusual up here at this time of year. But it does make getting out tricky. Uh, <laughs> this is a great start. This is why I don't usually use judos in here. The stumps are not ideal. They're always stupidly hard. I usually <laughs> usually destroy them pretty quickly. Although I've not used what is it, Zoicky, Zoicky, something like before. Uh, trying them out today, see if they're any more durable than the ones I usually use. So yeah, as I say, it's uh, been the first time for a while. I've been itching to get out, or itching for a break in the weather to at least get a short session because I've got new gear that I'm trying out today. If I can get this in arrow back. Well, that took some shifting. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, new setup today that I've been waiting to try for a while. But I'll tell you more about that as we work our way around the woods. I miss this one, the arrow. I hope you can see the dog down here. If not, that's going to look really ropey. Anyway, 
it's it's probably a good time to talk you through the gear. Sorry, this breeze is making my eyes stream as well. Really up against it here. So the new kit. Nothing fancy, just another cheap and cheerful outreach bow. Uh, that's really doing outreach down, isn't it? I'm doing them a big disservice. It's actually a good bow for the money, a really good bow for the money. It's an outreach redden. Now, it's exactly the same as my outreach diamond, just different cosmetics. Same maple limbs with a black laminates, black glass laminates and same diamond wood riser. The only difference with this is it has a maple laminate running the length of the riser and it's dyed up red and black to look like exotic timbers, which it isn't, it's diamond wood. And it's not a look that does anything for me if I'm honest. I, I don't know. Call me an old fart, but I like a nice, simple, traditional, elegant looking timber. None of these silly colours. Uh, but I didn't want two identical bows. So why the switch? Well, I've gone from £40 to £50. When I set out on my archery journey, we're going to call it a journey. It's good as anything, isn't it? Uh, when I set out on my archery journey, I, for whatever reason, and I'll be blowed if I know why, decided that 50 pound was going to be a good target weight i can only assume i was watching youtube videos at the time i was looking at getting into archery and got the impression that 50 pound was a good weight and a good target weight so here we are 50 pound now because it's my target weight there was logic in buying a more expensive bow but because i've jumped from 40 pound to 50 pound without a 45 or in between and because I've been off for a year with my shoulder I didn't want to risk spending a lot of money to find I'd over bowed myself so cheap and cheerful but I'll tell you what for the money it's a really really good bow it shoots really well the only negative with it is it's a little bit loud but in saying that the only thing I've got to compare it with is an outridge no it isn't it's a Samic Sage and that was a 30 pounder which was my first bow and at £30 I wouldn't expect it to be noisy. At £50 there's a bit of a twang on this thing. But, first of all, I drag some bits of wool out of the wife's knitting and they've quieted it down massively. It's actually really, I mean it's not really quiet but it's a quiet bow now. But it doesn't need to be quiet for me. Um, Bow hunting in the UK is illegal. I know why. We're absolutely awash with red deer around here. Awash with them. I could fill the freezer every weekend, but we can't. Uh, <laughs> so I don't need a silent bow. That's me, you buddy. Something spooks a little one. Uh, where was I? Yeah, I don't need a silent bow. So it's really not a problem. But other than that, it's a really good bow. It was £160 UK, which I'm just trying to convert this in my head. Help me out here. I think I'm in the right ballpark if I say it's $190, $195 US. Sounds about right. So it really is cheap as chips. And it's a hell of a good bow for that. So if you're looking for a beginner bow, <laughs> buy one. Uh, arrows for today are. Say stay! No, they're not. They're really not. <laughs> Why did I do that? These have been through tree stumps and all sorts and they taste like it. Uh, arrows for today are gold tip Ted Nugent's. I ordered a couple of dozen gold tip traditional shafts. But I thought I'd stick a, a dozen of these in just to give them a try. I thought 
they're going to stick out like a sore thumb in the undergrowth and I do lose a lot of arrows in this stuff. Uh, so I'll let you know I get on with that. But they're essentially, as far as I can work out, the same shaft. Same internal diameter, same 9.3 grains per inch, same external diameter, give or take. Uh, the only difference is these come wearing a zebra. But again, as I say, that should help with visibility. Other than that, they shoot really nicely. And I really like the look of these now I've got. Them. Uh, these weigh out at 430 grain Orbin, which at 27 and a half inch draw on a 50 pound bow, which will put me about 48 pounds, pans out at nine grains per inch, which is nine grains per pound even, which is smack bang between the eight grains per pound ideal target weight and 10 grains per pound hunting weight shooting really well for me so yeah that's the arrows that's the gear and that's enough for that let's go and do some more shooting nailed it one at the fallen tree. Got skip off it and all over it. Bang on. Sounded a bit harder there. <laughs> I expected it. it's gonna want some pulling that. These judos are taking a beat in the wickies. Planted itself a bit. I'm getting to the end of the session now, so let's try something completely different. Bought myself a tab. Now, I've tried this a couple of times in the garden, and I'm not really getting on with it. It's really good and convenient, you just slip it on with one hand, slip it back off with one hand. But I'm sometimes struggling to find my anchor point. Now it could be because it's not worn in yet. But I do keep 
having a couple of slots with it. And I do so now, which is not one of my better ideas because the stump I'm aiming at now is, if I miss, the arrow's gone. Nice shot, right where I was aiming. I can shoot with it. It's just uh, something I need to persevere with. I think I'm being too reliant on the glove. I'm too used to it. Another tab shot, it's only about 20 yards, it's only a diddy stump. <laughs> See if I can mess it up with a tab, shouldn't be a problem with a glove. It's in it, it's not right in the centre but it is in it, pop another one in. Keeping it the point I was aiming at. Better. Square in the hill Right, that's it. I've had enough for one day. I'm going to go home and crack a can. <laughs> uh, the bow. Really enjoyed shooting it. I could quite happily, based on today, uh, shoot this all day long at £50. So I think I'm going to go home, which is just behind you, and order the Bodney cab I've had my eye on for a year. Meantime, thank you ever so much as always for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video for all it was, and I will see you next time.